Hey guys, it's Monday. That means it's time for another weekly draft video. We're doing more Shadows over Innistrad, as you probably expected. Before the draft starts, I do want to let you guys know that I recently started a Patreon campaign. If, you'd, if you like the content I produce on my channel and want to see it get even better, you can help me out by donating. You can see the link below in the description. If I get enough donations, I may even start posting uh, more than one draft video a week. Who knows? So I'll be back with you guys when our pack opens. Okay, first pack is opening. Ooh, well, we have an easy first pick. Uh, worth a lot of tickets. It's a very powerful card. Markov Dread Knight's also a good card. I mean, I'll talk about the other cards in this pack because it's pretty clear that we take this incredibly pushed powerful card. But uh, yeah, Markov Dread Knight is solid. I mean, even if it, if it weren't for Archangel, I think I would take it. Next up, I think would be Deadweight. Um... Crawling Sensation, you know, you can take it early, and it can make you have a pretty sweet deck, but sometimes it just doesn't come together. And, of course, Dauntless Cathar is quite good. Hinterland Lager is plenty good. Glim Widow is solid. Gloom Widow, I think I just said something along the lines of Glem Widow. And, you know, the rest is basically filler or worse. Pale Rider, you know, I just haven't seen much of it. I've drafted several times now, and I haven't seen much Pale Rider, either against me or in... or even the option to take it. If you have a lot of madness, obviously it gets good, but yeah, so we're gonna take our Archangel here and be happy about it. Okay, so what do we have here? We have no removal. We do have rather strong Briar Bridge Patrol, um, who is cool just because it basically generates a clue token no matter what. In white, we don't really have anything we wanna take this early. I mean, Expose Evil's fine, but no, thanks. I do like Uninvited Geist decently. I like Stitched Mangler. I like Byway Courier. Of course, Incorrigible Use as well, although it's better if you have a bunch of madness. So this pack, I mean, Briar Bridge Patrol, Uninvited Geist, or Byway Courier. Courier. Um, I mean... It's a hard choice. I like the Geist, you know, with the blue-white deck. It does have other flyers, and Archangel Abyssin goes with it, but so does a lot of other stuff. Kind of just leaning towards Briar Bridge Patrol here, though. Um, I think it is what I take. Uh, yeah. Stitch Mangler also a candidate there to look at, but I think I like uh, I like the Briar Bridge Patrol. Okay, well, there's a fairly late dead weight, which I think I have to take. I mean, third pick isn't that late, um, but the, you know, there's... They're, the rare's out of this pack, but I don't know what else would have been taken before Dead Weight. Um, Dance with Devils is good. I like it. Harvest Hand's good as well, but I'm going to go for the removal. And maybe we go Black White, which is basically just sort of like a value deck. A bunch of common creatures who do stuff from the graveyard. Okay, well, to the Slaughter is fine. They're not, like, terribly exciting. I have played it, but I usually don't take it this early, um, just because... In the later game, it, it really loses some of its punch. Um, this is pretty good. Um, it's definitely an engine. We already have one clue thing going on, and I like that. But I would also like to get dead weight into our deck. Pyrehound's good if you end up in the blue-red deck. Rancid Rats, Quilled Wolf, those things are all fine. I think I'm going to take the Ulvenwald Mysteries. Maybe we can make get there on a clue deck. Um, I think we're going to try pretty hard to play white, but white has not especially been open. I mean, you know, when you have Archangel Avison, you want to try pretty hard to play white, and we're not, we are not seeing it. I mean, Expose Evil's fine. Maybe worth taking now. I think I would take Stitched Mangler from this pack in a vacuum, though. Um, I like that card a lot. I think more than most people do. Moldgraf Scavenger's also a thing. Um, Expose Evil works well with both this and its white. So I think I will take it over Moldgraf Scavenger, who's fine, but I want to be white, man, if I can help it. Okay, Emissary of the Sleepless is fine. Cathar's Companion's fine. Um, which do I want more? I'm kind of leaning towards the Emissary. You do get that one token, you know, pretty often you can just like, you know, Put the game in a situation um, where you just you just get the token. So yeah, I'll take the emissary. Okay, well now there's a pretty late just the wind. There's also a foul orchard which could help us splash. 
It's also a pretty late Silent Observer. Both are very playable cards, so I may be veering into blue one way or another. And I think I will take just the Wind here over the Observer. I don't really like Merciless Resolve. Survive the Night's an okay trick, but I'm not entirely sure when a deck that wants tricks at this point. Um, so I think I'm going to take just the Wind over like the Orchard. Okay, and now there's a second Just the Wind. There's also a Nahiri's Machinations. So if we were red white, there's also True Faith Sensor. Uh, we have one human so far. I think I'd probably just take another Just the Wind, though. Probably is what I do. We could end up blue green clues, I guess. <laughs> kind of looks like that's open. I mean, Jace's Scrutiny isn't amazing, but if you get the blue green blue green clue engine going, it can be pretty awesome. Um, Keswick Dire Swine is fine, but I'm kind of leaning towards taking the scrutiny. God, I wish we could play our angel though, but white just doesn't seem open. It's kind of funny because I made that video a few weeks ago about say, let's say you first pick Archangel Avison and white's not open. You should probably abandon it. And <laughs> now I'm living that example. Um, yeah, taking the scrutiny. Um, another expose evil though. That's interesting. Um, yeah. Okay. Well, Drown Yard, yeah, the clue deck is open, I would say. and But an Inquisitor's Ox late is also pretty good. So we could go blue-white clues and, sp like, splashing Ulvenwald Mysteries, I think, makes more sense than, like, we may be able to splash. We'll see. Um, uh, I'll take Deny Existence. It's not the worst sideboard card ever. And then take that. But green does not seem ultra open. We do have the sweet engine in Ulvenwald Mysteries, which we may want to keep in our deck if we can help it. We have one, two, three, four, five, counting it. Five ways of generating tokens. We are low on removal, though. We do have just the win, so. Um, but we'll just see what happens here. Um, white doesn't look so empty that I can't try to make my Archangel work. And blue ends up being really open right now because everyone thinks it's bad. And it is. It is the worst color. But generally in this phase after the Pro Tour has happened and everyone's heard blue is bad, they just, like, stop drafting blue. Ooh. Another money card, I think. Seasons passed. Seasons passed. Let's see if you're still worth a lot. And it's only worth three tickets now. It's probably still worth enough for me to take it. Um, I am giving up an Angelic Purge. Maybe I shouldn't be so greedy. I've already got my draft paid for, right? So maybe I should just go for the win. Yeah, yeah, I'm not going to be greedy. <laughs> There's too many good cards in this pack. Like Angelic Purge is really good. It works well with clues because you can sack your clues. I also like Drown Yard Explorers, which will probably wheel. Um, Sage of Ancient Lore is also pretty good. But I think we need removal pretty badly, and I'm going to go with the Purge here. Um Actually, it says when you sacrifice a clue. So Angelic Purge plus Ulvenwald Mysteries is a thing, too. So, yeah, I'm going to take the Purge here. We need the removal. Okay, Obsessive Skinner is a pretty good little two-drop. Um, our deck doesn't look amazing at getting Delirium at this point, but that is a good two-drop. Stitched Mangler might be better for our kind of deck here. Sort of seems like a tempo-y, grind-out value kind of deck at this point. Um, oh, Avacyn should not be over there. <laughs> um, I mean, there's Gone Missing. That'll probably wheel, but it's either Stitched Mangler or Obsessive Skinner. And right now we don't have a two drop. We have ways of interacting on turn two. So I think I'm leaning towards just taking the, the, oh, well, I'm not guaranteed to play green, am I? So maybe, maybe not so much. Let's take the Mangler. If I were like guaranteed to play green, I'd be all over that, that's that, uh, Skinner, but, but I'm not. Okay, Reaper of Flight Moonsilver is pretty solid. Um, so I'm happy to see that. Another Expose Evil? I don't think so. Watcher in the Web's good too, but we're just going to take the, the Angel, um, who, once you get Delirium, gets better, especially if we're making tokens with this thing. We do want to get some fixing to try to run that, but so we're going to try to make that happen. Okay, I like Pour Over the Pages. I also like Byway Courier, though. I do like Byway Courier, but again, green. I mean, white seems open enough for us to continue in it. We do have, so it's probably Stormrider Spirit or Pour Over the Pages here. We have two cards with Madness, so Pour the Pages gets a little bit better. And we have several cards we can play off of the two mana we untap with it. I think it's either Pour or Stormrider Spirit. 
I would probably take Byway Courier over both of them if I was sure I'd be playing green. But right now I'm just looking to splash, I think. Storm Rider or pour over the pages. We need creatures, I think. Even though this is another five drop flyer, I think we need some creatures. So I'm going to go for the creature here. Okay, good. That is the kind of two drop we do want. Um, there's a good green creature here um, and a good blue creature, but we definitely want the two drop who also has synergy with all of our investigating. So come on board, Erdwall Illuminator. So we're definitely looking for some lands that'll let us splash. Um, and that's not the one we want to help us splash. I don't like Trail of Evidence unless it's like actually better in the blue red deck than it is in this one. I could take a third just to win, or I could take another dirtily creature that helps us get to, like, Avacyn or whatever um, and gr helps us grind out more value. Warped Landscape can help us um, fix. Um, I think I'm going to take the Observer here, though. I think we need creatures. I mean, we have we have several, but it's another one that goes well with our what seems to be our strategy, which is, well, Dauntless Cathar is very good to be here still. I like Press for Answers, but Dauntless Cathar is good in any deck, and that includes ours. Confront the Unknown is also good in our deck, but I think I want the Cathar a little more because, again, we're not guaranteed we're playing green. I like a lot of green, so Cathar it is. Okay, another Drown Yard Explorers. Again, like I would take Confront the Unknown, but Drown Yard Explorers is in our colors, and I will happily take it. Drown Yard Explorers number three. Yeah, okay, I'm down. The homunculus is worth thinking about because we need a two drop pretty badly, but I decided against it. I'm going to take Gone Missing. I don't know that we play it. Expose Evil number three. Uh, I'm going to take the Watcher because there's some chance that we like want to be splashing green for it. Expose Evil is definitely better if we get a more aggressive curve. Although, I mean, it can be used late game too to just get through with a bunch of dudes. So I'll take the Snapper. I don't... It's uh it is non creature, so he might make our deck as as our six. So here I'm gonna try to take um I'm going to try to take fixing fairly highly going forward. I'll take the vessel. And I'll take another vessel. Cause being able to splash green for this would be a big deal. It's one of the better like clue things you can do, especially because it makes it has its own clue engine. I wouldn't mind picking up some more clue synergies either. Um, we have a couple. We have our Illuminator. And we have... That's about it, really. And this. So. So we have one... Oh, not with that one. Uh, we have a couple ways of Deliriuming. A couple cards that want Delirium, that is. Um... And we have sorcery. Oh, that's an instant. That makes it a little better than I was thinking it was. Um, do we have a sorcery? Yeah, we have angelic purge, which does kind of help you get to delirium. Brain in a jar. I don't think that's what we want. <laughs> it is. Uh, I saw Saffron Olive built, built, built a pretty sweet deck with it. Maybe it's gone up because of him. Yeah, it is up to a ticket. <laughs> Saffron Olive, man, does have an impact on the market. Um, I mean, maybe it'll actually turn out to be like showing up at competitive tournaments, but it's not worth enough for me to take over another purge because we actually don't have very much removal right now. And I like the purge. I also like Aberrant Researcher, which is worth looking at. And I wouldn't mind getting a Double Thorn Fox. We're going to have to take some kind of crappy two drops here to be perfectly happy. Um, but here, I think we just take the removal spell. There is Epitaph Golem, which is good in a deck where you like mill yourself a lot, but we're not that. Uh, I think Nibbus of Dusk. I don't think we want another Drown Yard Explorers. I think we've got as many as we want. I mean, I guess we could try to mill people out with Fleeting Memories. Like, can we do that? I don't think we can quite do that. But maybe we can. Hmm. One, two, three, if we get to play it. No, we have we don't have enough ways of, of investigating at this point. I don't trust I don't trust myself to get there. I could take an apparatus, which is removal that also helps us get delirium, but I think I just take a uh, a three drop because it's a solid one. It's nothing exciting, of course, but 
Well, Death Cap Cultivator. <laughs> kind of, if we were base green, I guess that would be useful fixing for us. Um, so here I'd probably just take another Mangler, right? Yeah, I think so. Inner Struggle's solid. We're not red. Gun Missing's fine. We have one that we may not play already. Um, Death Cap Cultivator is obviously good, but you have to be green. So Mangler it is. Do you like that we're lowering our curve here in the late going? So there is broken concentration, which is okay. Um, it may just be another scrutiny, although I don't really like running two scrutinies. If we could splash for Pyrehound, it wouldn't be terrible in our deck, but yeah, this this pack's pretty bad for us. I mean, maybe it is. Maybe I think we take broken concentration. We probably don't play it, but it isn't a bad sideboard. Ah, actually, I may as well take a warped landscape. If we really want to splash green, that's a way to help us do it. Okay, Apothecary Geist, I like, and I think that's what I take. Nibbles of Dusk is good too. Um, how many spirit synergies do we have? We have one, two. Still need some two drops, although at least we have just the wins. We don't have that many spirits. So maybe maybe a Nibbles of Dusk is just better. We have some spirits. A Nibbles might just be better. I do like Apothecary Geist, but a lower curve is definitely necessary, especially because we're low on twos. So yeah, I'll take the Nibbles here. We're just basically a Blue-White Skies deck that has a little clue sub-theme going on. Do I want two Warped Landscapes? I don't think I am leaning towards no. There is a Survive the Night here, which is an okay trick. And we might consider running it. There's also a Catalog, which can help us get to Delirium, which some of our cards care about. I mean, maybe I'll just take another Landscape. I do really want to play green. Like, because this card's that good. So, none of the cards in this pack excite me, really. So, I'm going to go for the second landscape. I mean, these are bad compared to the other fixing you can get in the format, but it's what I'm being given. Okay. Another one of these is pretty nice. Cathar's Companion is also nice. Um, and we do have several ways of making him indestructible. And we do need threes. I wouldn't mind another one of these, but... We, if we're not going to have twos, which we don't, we have one two drop creature, we definitely need to have threes. So, ugh. I mean, Reaper of Flight Moonsilver is definitely a better card. Also, a very weird name for a card, but um, we've already got one. And, you know, the Cathar's Companion works in our deck. It has, that's actually any non creature spell. So, it's, I think I'm, I think I'm okay with that. Okay, Storm Rider Spirit's probably the pick here over another Snapper that we probably won't play. Oh, we didn't end up taking, oh, we do have one in our deck right now. Yeah, I don't think we want it. I think we probably just take another Storm Rider. Maybe an Apothecary Guys comes back to us. Okay, well, here's a two drop. And, and Brady in a Jar came back, even though it's worth a few tickets. It is terrible and limited. I think we have to take this two drop. This land doesn't help us splash anything. So two drop it is. Um, well, this came back to me, and I'm going to think about trying to make that work, because it does seem fun, right? It doesn't affect the board at all, which I hate. I'll take Ghostly Wings. It is good against some opponents to be able to bounce stuff. And we'll take that for the sideboard. Well, do we have two Vessels of Paramnesia? In our hmm. <laughs> we could try to build a janky uh, <laughs> mill deck, but we only have one Fleeting Memories, so I don't think it's a really... A valid win condition for us to put our vessels in there and just try to make that work. I do think we got there and being able to play Wolvenwald Mysteries. We'll play one forest and two landscapes. And I think I'm satisfied with that. Don't love it. We don't have any double blue at least. And there's some trimming to be done. That's for sure. But I like the look of our deck. We got some clue synergies. Um, and it's basically just, you know, the blue, white skies deck splashing green. So I wish I could play this too, but I think we're stretching our mana if we try to make our, make that fit in our deck. So you know, we probably ended up with enough threes that we can probably cut the worst of them, which I think is this companion most of the time. I can probably cut just Jace's Scrutiny too. I think Expose Evil and just the win and and uh, 
or other ways of investigating are, are better. Yeah, we don't want fleeting memories. Sorry. Sorry, fleeting memories. Um, we already have two lands in here, so we need to cut two more cards. I think we like our ox. So the companion could be something to get cut. Let's, uh, I would normally like furtive homunculus be somewhere I would go, but I really need two drops. So I think it stays in our deck. Um, I could see maybe cutting one Niblis. Maybe even cutting a Drown Yard Explorers, even though, I mean, we don't need, like, we have some Investigate Synergy, yes, but it's not like a win condition in our deck if we don't have Fleeting Memories in it. I think Emissary of the Sleepless is fine. I could guess I could see cutting one of each of those, but that gives me a lot of fives. They are good fives, though. I mean, Emissary of the Sleepless is probably the weakest of my fives, I guess. So I guess I guess I could say, just because of where my curve is, that I would consider cutting it. And, like, of these, I think we have enough, like, good flyers that we probably don't need the Emissary. We can maybe side it in against an opponent who has bigger flyers. And I think having more threes is important, and I will cut in Explorers as much as I like them. So I think this is our deck. We definitely, we still have, you know, one, two. Well, I guess we only ended up with four ways to investigate in the end after trimming, but that's still plenty, I think. Hmm. I mean, five counting that. Maybe I should just cut, would I rather have, I think I would rather have another body that investigates than a spell that investigates, now that I'm looking at that. So, yeah, I think that's a little better. All right, and I think we do want to play this. Um, we can make it work in our deck. We investigate some already, and we have lots of creatures. All of those are necessities for that. Our three slot is just stacked, and our five looks really nice, too. Our four is solid, and our two is kind of bad, but that's okay. So um, we're going to sort by color. Definitely more blue than white, but then we have two double whites. But one of them is Archangel Avison, so what do you want me to do? Um, I think we go seven, seven, one. I think that's okay. The landscapes, you know, can help us... I, I don't love them. It would have been nice to pick up a dual, one of the dual lands to make this deck a little better, but I think Ulvenwald Mysteries is strong enough. We want to splash for it. So, And we also can draw cards with our investigation, which can get us to green mana sooner, stuff like that. So I think I feel okay about the situation. All right, well, I think this is the deck. Blue-White Skies, Investigate, Sub-Theme. As I said, blue ends up being open a lot of the time. And I think, you know, seeing the late just the wins was pretty hard for me to say no to. So, all right. Well, I'll see you guys in the matches. Thanks for watching. And don't forget to like, comment, 